Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Nice to meet you, Sandra. Nice, nice to nice to see you. <laughs> to see you, you okay? Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, how are you doing today? Fine. Awesome. How was your weekend? Mm, very well. Very Hi. well. Okay, that's nice. What about the rest of you? Um, repeat, please. And what about the rest? The, the rest. rest of your classmates, they don't want to speak today. <laughs> of course, I want to speak to you. <laughs> my, my, uh, during the weekend, uh, I was very busy, busy because um, I work teaching Bible to, uh, to many children. Oh, Do yes. you like to teach children? Of course, I like to teach children, but of course, it is like um, uh, uh, the Bible, Bible, Biblic, Biblic, Escuela Biblica. Okay, a public school. Uh -huh, Biblical, Biblical school. Oh, what, right. Yes. Well, of How many course. kids do you have, Sandra? Uh, well, sometimes I've got. Uh, 10 or 15. 15, okay. Uh huh. Well, of about what ages? From uh, 9 to, to 12. Okay, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, do you teach every weekend? Every, no, no, no. I, I, I work uh, every, every two Sundays, every every 15 days. Oh, okay, that's nice, interesting. And the rest of you guys, what did you do on your weekend? What is the meaning of view? View? What is the meaning of view? View? Um, Ustedes. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> say, how do you feel? How, como dice eso? What about the rest of you? What about the rest of you? Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In my case, everything is okay. Yeah. Did you do anything interesting on your weekend? Yes, I visit the Chapultepec Multiplaza. <laughs> <laughs> Chapultepec Multiplaza. Yes. I it's didn't new, know. <laughs> it's new place. Yeah, it's new place. So yeah. I I yeah. I was busy with my sister. Mm, nice. Do <laughs> you relax? Um yeah. and you okay, and you visited a new place. <laughs> Okay. It's a magical place. <laughs> magical? Why? Why do you say it's magical, Jorge? No, <laughs> uh, I, I just kidding. <laughs> uh, because I, I think that it's because you eat and drink a lot with few money. Yeah, only that. <laughs> okay, so in that case, yes, it's magical. <laughs> okay, yeah, the food is delicious and it costs just like one dollar, one dollar and fifty cents, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Um, I have heard. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to continue today. Well, we're going to start the section number five. So, as you remember, we were talking about what tense was it? It, it was perfect per perfect first perfect friends present perfect i'm sorry yes the present perfect tense so perfect. we're going to watch the video about the conversation let me share my screen with you <sighs> okay um sharing can you see my screen yes yes, yes. all right so i'm going to play the video 
it's kind of faster today. Welcome to section 10. In this lesson, we will listen and practice a conversation between two people in New Orleans. See present perfect in context. Listen and practice. It's great to see you, Todd. Have you been in New Orleans long? Just a few days. I'm really excited to be here. I can't wait to show you the city. Have you been to a jazz club yet? Yeah, I've already been to one. Oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Uh, I've already done that, too. Have you ridden in a streetcar? They're a lot of fun. Actually, that's how I got here today. Well, is there anything you want to do? You know, I really just want to take it easy. My feet are killing me. Okay, that was the conversation. Did we practice the conversation in the last class? No, we didn't, right? No, we didn't. No, okay, we didn't. So, um, we're going to practice it right now in groups. But before that, I would like to know if you have any question about a pronunciation. My God. No. Am I sharing my screen? Not yet? Oh, something is going on here. Hmm. I'm sharing now, I think. Mm -mm. I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Let me try it again. If not, I'll try something different. Can you see my screen now? Yes. Yes, yeah. teacher. Okay, so this was the conversation. I'd like to know if you have any questions in regards of pronunciation or vocabulary, maybe. Well, I suppose that take it easy uh, means uh, pasarla suave, tranquilo. Uh, yes, uh -huh. that's it. It's to relax. I just want to take it easy. Yes, it's like slow down, um, relax. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Yeah. Uh, Bim, in this case, is cuando... si es la conjugación del verbo to be, verdad? Pero, pero, cómo lo pronunciamos? Es como, como es. No, 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 that is the, the present perfect, yeah, been, uh -huh. been, okay. been. It's, it's not like been, like no, been, it's kind of oh, uh, a little bit longer, yes, been, es como decir estado, it's the, sí, sí. okay, mm -hmm. that's nice, Thank and, you. all right, you're welcome, any other question? I like the phrase de Me gusta la frase donde dice My feet are kidding me. Yeah. <laughs> it can be very useful for our daily lives. Okay, so I'm yeah. going to create the breakout room so you can practice this conversation with your classmates. Right. Okay. Let's go ahead and practice.
Hi, Adrian. I've just joined. I'm trying to assign you to a group so you can practice the conversation. Hi, classmates. Hi, we're just waiting for a couple of people to. Okay. I think we're on here again. Okay, so we will continue with the class and watch the video on how to use the present perfect with already and yet. Pues pegatelo bien, hacete el masaje bien en los pies. Here we have the video. Let's watch. We use this lesson. Hi, in this lesson, we will start the present or perfect have. already and yet. Ask and answer questions in present perfect with irregular and regular past participles. I want you to concentrate on this new tense. Notice how it is formed. Pay close attention to the words already and yet. Present perfect. Already, yet. The present perfect is formed with the verb have plus the past participle. Have you been to a jazz club? Yes, I've been to several. No, I haven't been to one. Has she ridden in a streetcar? Yes, she's ridden in one. No, she hasn't ridden in one. Has he called home lately? Yes, he's called twice this week. No, he hasn't called in months. Have they eaten dinner yet? Yes, they've already eaten. 
No, they haven't eaten yet. Contractions. I've equals I have. You've equals you have. He's equals he has. She's equals she has. It's equals it has. We've equals we have. They've equals they have. Haven't equals have not. Hasn't equals has not. For present perfect, we will use have or has plus past participle verb plus complement. The verb have or has will depend on the person we will talk about. We use present perfect when we want to express actions which began in the past and continue in the present. Example, she has worked in the bank for five years. We have had the same car for 10 years. When we want to make reference to an unfinished temporary period of time, I have worked hard this week. It has rained a lot this year. We haven't seen her today. Repeated actions in a specific period of time between the present and the past. They have seen that film six times. We have eaten all that restaurant many times. When timing is not relevant or it is unknown, someone has eaten my soup. Now let's talk about already and yet. Already usually goes after have or has and before the main verb. Examples, we have already had our breakfast. When are you going to do your homework? But I've already done it. Yet means that something that we expected has happened or hasn't happened. We usually put it at the end of a sentence. Examples, has the post arrived yet? Have you done your homework? Not yet. Haven't you got ready yet? Look at the time. Okay, as you could notice in the presentation, um, the regular structure was given, and then what is the structure if you're going to use conjunctions such as already and yet? It changes a little, right? So um, we studied the basic structures the previous um, Thursday. And now we are studying uh, the structure when we are going to add conjunctions such as already and yet. There are more, and we're going to study them in this section. Questions so far? No questions? Okay. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, Roberto. Eh, eh, puede poner la, la, el diálogo anterior. En, en la primera pregunta de Jan, eh, ¿cómo, se, ¿cómo se traduciría esa pregunta? ¿Hace cuánto? ¿O cuánto has estado? Yes, for a, it refers to the period of time. Mm -hmm. mm, sería cuánto has estado. Uh -huh. Y, y la, la otra pregunta sería, ¿aún no has comido pizza o, o con, aún, no, aún no, has, es, no has estado en un club de jazz o aún no has ido? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? ¿Cómo sería traducida la pregunta? Sí, yes, exactamente that. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Ok, okay. Thank ¿hay alguna otra pregunta? Yes, teacher. Uh, over here says, oh, well, how about a riverboat tour? Eh, significa, riverboat es como eh, un bote en, en la orilla o como? A uh, riverboat tour. Eh, yeah. Es un, como un so tour much. que se da, eh, yes, como en una lancha, en un bote. Yes. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. all right. Really, really. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh, no. No, not re really. Really. Not um, really. No, no, not really. <laughs> It's different. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sí, porque me pareció raro. Yeah, um, really. It's, uh -huh. uh, okay, no, I confused. Sorry. No worries. Teacher, eh, yo tengo una pregunta con respecto. Eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia eh, del already and yet? Porque este, tengo entendido que uno solamente va al final y otro como que hay unas reglas para poderlo colocar. Porque yo estaba viendo un video que el already solamente lo podemos poner, digamos, después del to be, o si hay un auxiliar, eh, se puede poner entre el auxiliar y el verbo. Ok, we are going to study that. So, como ya habíamos hablado de esto, y esto es lo que vimos en el video, so, aquí les tengo la, la a, a dónde van a acomodar just, yet, still, already, ok? El jueves pasado vimos el presente simple sin estas conjunctions. Now, do you know how to use just, yet, still, already, since, and for with the present perfect? Look at these, uh, at these examples to see how just, yet, still, and already are used. Um, and let's See, Roberto Adonai, can you read the first sentence, please? I've just seen Faith. I, I've just seen Faith. He's really enjoying his, enjoying his new job. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Sandra, can you continue with the second one? Yes. We haven't decided what to do yet. Thank you so much. Evelyn Elizabeth? The third one. I still haven't called Jumi, Jumi to see how she is. Thank you so much. Adrian Ernesto, the last one. Okay. I have a really hard lunch, but join you for coffee. Okay. Thank you so much. So, as these are just examples in which we are using those conjunctions. Now, we're going to go over one by one, studying when do we use them. This is the um, grammar explanation. Uh, can you read the grammar explanation? Um, let's see, uh, Joanna? We often? We often use, use yet is still and already ready with the present perfect cause they are related to the present moment this page focuses on the meaning and use of this word when they are used with the present perfect thank you so much and let's see related okay thank you You're welcome. Let's read about just, Arely. Can you read us about how to we use just? Okay. Uh, all of them? Yes. Okay. Uh, just, just use with the present perfect means a short time before. I've just seen I've just seen Susan coming out of the cinema. Makes just cold. Can you bring him back, please? Have you just taken my pen? Just comes between the auxiliary verb, have, has, and the past participle. Thank you so much. Now, as you can see, just is used to refer a short term than before. El just in este caso. Eh, lo vamos a usar con el presente perfecto para eh, enfatizar que algo recién ha sucedido. Acaba de suceder unos minutitos atrás. Es algo que recién pasó. Y aquí nos dice a dónde lo vamos a, a colocar. Just lo vamos a colocar entre el verbo auxiliar have y has y el pasado participio. Si se ven, um, aquí está um, 
el, el have you, right? Because esta es una pregunta, right? But in sentences, let's see, I have, aquí está el auxiliar. I have. Entonces aquí está, entre el auxiliar y el pasado participio. Auxiliar have, pasado participio. Entre estos dos se coloca el just en oración. Ahora, si es en pregunta, acuérdense que cambiamos el orden. Primero va el, el have o has y luego el sujeto, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí vamos a ubicar el just antes del de verbo en pasado participio, como lo ven acá en el ejemplo de la pregunta. Is that okay for you? Are you okay with this? Está, está claro esto? Yes, madam. I have a question. Yes, Roberto. Uh, with no se jale proper... los pelos, lo va a entender. <laughs> with property names, uh, could be could use uh, contraction has. For example, Mike, Mike has or Mike. Que si podemos contratar un nombre uh -huh. propio con el have. Ajá, uh -huh. con el has. Mm, no. Ah. Solo con los pronombres. Solo con los, ah, ok. okay. Uh -huh. Any other question? Y contractado, ¿cómo lo leemos? Eh, I have o I've. I've. Uh -huh. I've. Okay. Uh, for example, I've just had dinner. Acabo de cenar. I've just had dinner. I've just had dinner. Okay. Thank you, Tisha. Uh -huh. That is something that just happened. Um, can you provide more examples using just? In sentences? Yes. Can you give I've me... just, uh -huh. I've just done an exam. All right. Very good example. I've just done an exam. An exam. All right. Good. Good example. Any other volunteer? I just hey, teacher. Finished. No, begin you, please, please. Okay. Hey, let's come on. Okay, I just uh, finished. I just finished uh, call phone. Okay, good. Good example. Teacher, Any other? Yes. Um, for example, we we've just seen uh, movies. I've just seen a movie. Yes. Yes, puede ser. Acabo recién vi una película. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I saw Cruella. <laughs> it's amazing. I liked it. Evelyn said yes. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, I teacher. Yes. Okay. I've just arrived home. I've just? Arrived home. Yes, excellent Thank example. Thank you. Let's go. recién o acabo de llegar a casa. I just arrived home. Yes. Recién Ahorita. llegué a casa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Recién he llegado a casa. Okay, so I see that it is clear you're okay with the just. Oh, just. Now, what about yet? Um... Evelyn and Mariela, can you read us about yet? Okay, yet. Yet use it with the present per perfect means at any time up to now. We use it to emph emphasize, emphasize. emphasize that we expect something to happen soon. Yet in, the, in, in this context, it's only used in negative sentences and questions. Have you finished your homework yet? I haven't finished it yet. I'll do it after after dinner. Where is Sam? He hasn't arrived yet. Yet comes at the end of the sentence or question. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, see here is different, right? So we just did, uh, it's different to just. In this case, yet lo vamos a utilizar solamente en oraciones negativas y en preguntas y eh, lo vamos a utilizar significando eh, eh, 
a cualquier hora, ¿verdad? Es algo que, eh, para algo que esperamos que pase pronto o en este contexto, bueno, lo vamos a utilizar, como decía, en oraciones negativas y en preguntas. También cuando esperamos como que ya algo debería de haber sucedido, pero no. Por ejemplo, aquí, have you finished your homework yet? No has terminado tú. Es como decir aún. ¿Ya? Yeah? Eh, I haven't finished yet. So as you see, it is negative sentence. No, aún no lo he terminado. Sería un equivalente, ¿verdad? Y lo haré. I'll do it after dinner. Uh, where is Sam? He hasn't arrived yet. Aún no ha llegado. Y... Yet comes at the end of the sentence or questions. El yet va a ir al final de la oración o de la pregunta. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, questions so far? Questions? No. 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 E example, uh, have you finished uh, washing dishes yet? Uh -huh. haven't, it can be, haven't you finished? Uh -huh. Or have you finished washing the dishes yet? Yes, both of them are correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, but I have a question here. Um, haven't you finished your homework yet? Se supone que ya tenía que haberlo terminado y todavía no has terminado tu deber. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But, I don't, but I don't know why the, over, over here says, ¿Has terminado tu deber todavía? Oh, uh, yeah, it's like, uh -huh, aún no lo termina. Sería como un equivalente en español a decir aún o todavía. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's exact. Ok, thank you. Excellent. Any other question? O sea que en esas, aunque no lleve una... Eh... Negativa, la pregunta se entiende como negativa. Exacto. Ok. Uh -huh. okay. Uh -huh. Now, still, what about still? Can you read about still, Jorge Alberto? Yes. Ok, still. Still use with. With the present perfect means that something hasn't happened. We use we use the emphasis that we expected the thing to happen earlier. How do you pronounce that, teacher? Emphasize. And here no, earlier. is emphasize. Happened earlier. Happened earlier. 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 Okay. Thanks. But still, in this context. It's only used in negative sentences. I've been waiting for a, for an hour and the bus still hasn't come. I'm sorry. Quería moverlos a ustedes. Okay. Porque, Don't worry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They promised with they promised me that report yesterday, but they still haven't finished fin, finished it. She still hasn't replied to me the email. Maybe she's on holiday. Still comes between the subject, the past day, etc. In the auxiliary verb, haven't, hasn't. Okay, thank you so much. So as you can see, este es diferente a el que acabamos de ver, que es yet. Yet es cuando algo no ha terminado, pero esperamos que va a ser finalizado pronto. El still es cuando algo no sucede y se usa como para hacer énfasis en que esto ya debería de estar terminado o ya debería de haber sucedido. Entonces, still, ahí está la carita triste porque ese es como ya, o sea, uy, aún no pasa, ¿verdad? Ya debería de. Es un, es, es, lleva una connotación más negativa que la anterior, que era yet. Y este, el still, como ven, no se usa en preguntas. 
El caso anterior, yet, lo ocupamos en oraciones negativas y en preguntas, pero still solo en eh, oraciones negativas. Um, y aquí dice a dónde lo vamos a colocar. Lo vamos a colocar entre el sujeto y el auxiliar verb haven't or hasn't. Como vemos acá. They promised me that the report yesterday, uh, but they, this is the subject, they, then still, and then we have the auxiliary, haven't finished it. Okay? It's finished it. I can say, I can say, uh, Maybe. Roberto, uh, still do it, uh, the, the homework. Still hasn't done. Remember that we're using the, vamos a estar utilizando los verbos en participles. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it will be done y tienen que ir el, el. Haven't or hasn't. El auxiliar va a ir en negativo. Mm -hmm. Haven't or hasn't. Mm -hmm. Okay. My son still hasn't finished painting his room. <laughs> okay. Any other example? Would you like to provide examples using this? This is still, remember, negative statement. Yeah. My sister hasn't, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry. My sister still hasn't healed. Okay, excellent. Excellent example. Any other example using still? Okay, let's move with already. Maria Susana, can you help us reading about already? Okay. Already used with the present perfect means before. Now, we use it to emphasize that something happening before something else or earlier that expected. I've already spent my salary and it's two weeks before payday. Uh, he wanted to see sudden risk, but I've already seen it. The trains left already. Already can come between the auxiliary and the main bird or at the end of the clause. Oh, okay, close. thank you so much. As you see, uh, already es como cuando queremos expresar que algo ha sucedido antes de lo esperado. Y ahí tenemos un ejemplo, ¿verdad? I've already spent my salary and it's two weeks before payday. Mm -hmm. Se terminó el dinero antes de lo esperado. Le faltan dos semanas para que le vuelvan a pagar y ya se lo terminó. Ya dice, no se lo terminó antes de lo esperado. Uh, another example, and I want to congratulate all those people who already finished the platform. <laughs> Se espera como mínimo que hayan terminado la plataforma para este jueves, pero hay muchos que ya lo terminaron. Entonces, en este caso, I can say there are many of my students who already finished the platform. They have already finished, yes. Remember that you have to use the auxiliary and already can come between the auxiliary and the main verb or at the end of the clause. Lo podemos mover utilizándolo eh, entre el auxiliar y el verbo principal o al final de la cláusula. Is this clear? Yes. Okay. Good. Now, since. Okay. 
Ahorita estamos viendo estos slides y después vamos a ir practicando. Esta es otra expresión que se usa uh, uh, comúnmente con el present perfect. Since. Um, and let's see, alguien que no haya leído. Melida, can you read about sins? Melida. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sins. You can use sins when you are men mentioning a, a time or event in the past and indicating that the situation has continued from the uni. Así. Until? Until now. Until now. I haven't seen lazy since 2014. Position since is used before a time when something began. began. Okay. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you. Uh, is this clear how the meaning and how do we use a since? Yes. This thing. It's really, really, really easy. Yes, it is. Uh -huh. So remember that since es como decir desde, es, es, eh, vamos a mencionar eh, un evento o el tiempo de en donde vamos a indicar que esa acción comenzó, right? Y eso no cerramos ese periodo de tiempo porque vamos a entender que eso aún sigue en el presente. Uh -huh. Teacher. ¿Sí? Teacher. Yes. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra? Vaya, por ejemplo, dice, you can use since when you are mentioned. Esa palabra. Mentioning. 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 Um, uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Would you say 2014 is 2014? Or yes, you can say 2014. 2014. Mm -hmm. Okay. How long have, be, have you been teaching, Oscar? How been? What? Teaching. Oh, yeah. I've been I've been teaching, or oh, I have teaching. Uh, I, I have taught. Remember that thing. I have that taught. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have enseñado. Uh -huh. yes, I have taught. taught uh, since twenty. Since twenty uh, ten. Okay. 20, 10, 20, That's nice. Yeah, very good. Okay. And you continue. The, so far, right? You continue teaching. Yes. Yes. Okay. So in this example. in this moment. <laughs> okay. Okay. Great. Is this clear the meaning and the use of themes? Yes, teacher. But I have a question here. Uh huh. Uh, when when the when the word is at the beginning of a sentence, uh, does it mean? Ya que, for example, if we say, since your grades are not good, eh, you have to repeat your course. Eh, yes, uh, but it is like, um, es una, uh, es eso, otro, otra función. Uh -huh. en, uh -huh, es otra función, pero sí, eh, es como para de efecto. Uh -huh. Okay, but but if I say my cousin hasn't traveled since 2015. That is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, that, that example, yes, matches with with the it function. matches with the with the dance that we are studying. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Esas creo que son las coordinated conjunctions en las que sí es como para indicar el porqué de algo. Son de causa y efecto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Any other question? Okay. We move with four. Let's see. Diego Arturo, can you help us reading four? Okay. Four. 
for is I used to say now how long something has less, less lasted. Uh -huh. They haven't seen him for two years. Position for is used before a period of time for two years, for a long time, for a week. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, questions about the use of for? We're talking about time. Eh, también con since hablamos del tiempo, ¿verdad? Yes. ¿Qué, qué diferencias pueden mencionar entre for y since? For use, use, eh, use count period. Siempre usamos cantidad para for. Cantidad de tiempo para for. Yes, that is one, uh, yeah, yeah. one very clear difference. Con el since, yeah. mencionamos... Since para, uh, un lugar, el, una fecha en específico. En since, mencionamos la fecha en específico cuando el evento empezó y se deja, ah. es como abierto. Lo dejamos abierto, dando a entender que eso aún es así en, en, en día, ¿verdad? Uh, for example, I have lived here since... 2014. Yeah? So it continues here. Pero el for lo utilizamos para indicar cuánto ha durado algo. Y como decía el compañero, como se usa de antes de un periodo de tiempo, por dos años, por un largo tiempo, por una semana, um, and so on, for two days, etc. For es como definir el tiempo, dice. Perdón. Es como definir el tiempo. For. Se define el periodo de tiempo. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Uh, can you say for long time ago? Yes, for long time. For long time Or for a ago. long time ago. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Uh -huh. Teacher. Uh, Yes. Uh, that means that uh, when we use for is something that has finished. Not specifically, no específicamente algo terminado, pero eh, damos un periodo de tiempo cerrado y es como más específico, porque si yo le digo eh, he estado o he dado clases desde el 2005, mm -hmm. ahí la tengo haciendo cuenta, ¿verdad? Uh, ¿Cuántos años entonces? Pero ent si yo le digo, I've been teaching um, for five years, eh, o, o ya le doy un periodo de tiempo cerrado, ya, ya uh -huh. bien específico el tiempo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But, but it means that you continue teaching, right? Continúo. Ajá. Ah, okay. Pero de este tiempo hasta acá han pasado tantos años y uh -huh. continúo. Pero ya es como bien específico el, el, el periodo de tiempo se lo doy específico y lo y es mencionado. Se oh, menciona okay. for five years, for ten years, uh, mm -hmm. for sixteen years. Like, I've been teaching for sixteen years. Oh. Hmm. Entonces ya es una idea así ya, 16 años, un periodo de tiempo mencionado y específico. Pero si yo le digo, I've been teaching since 2005. Está abierto desde el 2005 hasta la fecha, pero no, no, allá si sí quiere hacer la cuenta, ¿verdad? Quiero ver del 2005 <ríe> al 2010 y así. Y el for ya es para ser bien específico y se menciona ese periodo de tiempo. Y con el sin se deja abierto. Se menciona la fecha del pasado y queda abierto. Uh -huh. Since 2005, ¿ya? Queda abierto. Y con el for solo se menciona el periodo de tiempo, no, no se menciona el año en específico, digamos como decir, no puedo decir for, eh, for 2005 or something like that. So tengo que mencionar el periodo de tiempo exacto, cerrado. That is the difference. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Uh, 
Okay. Uh, no more questions. Si me oyen o no. <laughs> Tengo dudas. Yes. Los silencio. ¿Qué, qué sienten? ¿Qué piensan? Díganme algo. <laughs> So many questions. One example, uh, maybe I haven't played soccer since last week, and I haven't played played soccer for four days. Mm, yes. Yeah. Excellent. China, you know it. Any other question? Or maybe you can make sure of some examples that you would like to provide. No? No, no means. I know it's a lot of information. Es bastante yeah. información, pero bueno, ahí les queda explicado como para practicarlo. Eh, y así ustedes van a ir viendo a dónde los van a ir, porque ya vamos a ir poco a poco. Ahorita creo que vamos con el, el already and yet, y los vamos a ir practicando de dos en dos o, o de uno de repente y así. Porque oh, okay. esto es práctica. Ahorita ya tienen la información ahí, por eso se los hice en una presentación, y luego los vamos a seguir practicando. No es que espero que ya se memorizaron todo esto y ya tenemos todavía tres días para practicar esto. Uh, miss, uh, I can say for a few minutes, for a few days, Exacto. for a few uh, seconds. For a few um, seconds, yes. For a few moments. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, so el for siempre va acompañado con un periodo de tiempo, así como todos los que mencionó son buenos ejemplos. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Okay, we're going uh -huh. to check attendance and then we're going to move. Luego de chequear asistencia, vamos a ver si podemos hacer el siguiente ejercicio. Si no, pues no hay prisa. Nos quedan tres días. <laughs> ok, Adrián Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Ana Yancy. I'm here, teacher. Candida Janet. Mm, present, teacher. Claudia oh. Patricia. Claudia Patricia no se conectó ahora. No la he visto. Ok, creo que no. Diego Arturo. Claudia se acaba de conectar. No, no. teacher, he estado conectada. Lo que pasa es que me ah, saca sí. de la plataforma. Es que la, la vi y de repente no la vi. Y ahorita la vi que apareció otra vez por ahí. <risa> pero no la, la, la acababa de mencionar. Sí, pero no y pude conectar el micrófono. <risa> Okay, Excellent. Diego Arturo. Evelyn Elizabeth. Present. Evelyn Liliana. I'm here. ¿Y a Diego lo escuché o no lo escuché? Me acuerdo que le pregunté o leyó algo. Bueno. Evelyn Liliana. I'm here. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Ismael Eliseo. Present. Jerry Alejandro. Present, teacher. Eh, Joana Celina. Thank jo uh, Joaquín Ramírez. Present, teacher. Present, teacher. Present, teacher. Uh, Jonathan Isaac. Jonathan no se conectó. Jorge Alberto. I teach your present. José Manuel. Present teacher. Judith del Carmen. Who 
Uri del Carmen. Parece que no. Liliana Margarita. Present teacher. Ok, Diego se le fue la luz, dice. María Susena. Present. Marjorie Vanessa. Present teacher. Melida Rebeca. Present. Natalie Emperatriz. Present teacher. Oscar René. Present. Arely Guevara. Arely se le fue la luz también. Sí, pero ahí estaba. Ok. Uh, Roberto Adonai. Present teacher. Roberto Carlos. Rómulo Edgardo. Here, teacher. Sandra Araceli. I'm here, teacher. Stephanie Roxana. Present. And Jessica Arely. Present, Miss. Okay, thank you so much. Teacher. Yes. You didn't mention me. Hey, who was it? No me mencionó. ¿Quién me habla? Ah, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. <ríe> es que no miraba porque tengo enfrente el, a Elizabeth. Déjeme revisar. Diane, Jonathan Isaac no me contestó. Judith del Carmen tampoco. Pero sí la noté porque ahí me aparece present. Mm -hmm. Ok, teacher. Thanks. Ok. Anybody else who would like to check? Okay. Let's see then what is next. Tengo dos chats. Sorry. Diego, sí, ya los anoté a Diego. Déjenme revisar otra vez. Sí, es que vi que habían escrito en el WhatsApp. Y sí los anoté porque sí, los dos participaron, entonces me acordaba que los vi conectados y vi el chat y se les fue la luz. So, it's okay. Okay, next thing we have a video. So, let's see. Okay, we stop on four. Then we have the video on how the wheels, as I was mentioning, uh, already, and yeah, the, this is the video that we saw. Vimos como se usa already and yet. So vamos a practicar esas dos, already and yet, with these questions. If you want, you can take a, a picture or a screenshot and try to answer these questions. Write them, and tomorrow we're going to practice them. Vamos a hacer las preguntas. Um, how many times have you done these things in the past week? Write your answers, and then we're going to practice. Uh, for example, how many times, vamos a usar, how many times have you, in este caso, cleaned the house in the past week? That would be the question. Así nos quedaría la pregunta. How many times, usando acá, how many times have you, luego del have you, vamos a poner el verbo en past participle. En este caso solo vamos a agregar ed. Have you cleaned the house in the past week? How many times have you made your bed in the past week? And so on and so on. So for tomorrow, you can be ready. Para mañana pueden estar listos con las preguntas y ya su propia respuesta para que empecemos uh, practicing speaking. Is that okay? Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Very good. So mañana vamos a estar practicando con ready and yet. Y así vamos a ir poco a poco. So, thank you for joining today. Y vamos a ir repasando también cuándo y cómo se va a usar cada una de esas conjunciones. So, don't worry. 
thank you for joining. See you tomorrow and continue and try to finish the platform before Thursday. See you tomorrow. Okay, see you. Bye. 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 B